Yo, yo, sound test, whoo! On Saturday, Boris Johnson announced that the UK is going into second lockdown. He said it will be one month long, but we all know that the soonest we're going to get out of it will be next year. It's Sunday, half past 10 p.m. I'm going to studio to do some technical works. Did you notice the pattern here? I'm only vlogging when I'm going to do some technical maintenance in the studio. <laughs> we had a network failure a couple of weeks ago. I fixed it, but all my smart sockets got disconnected. Now I need to go back and ensure that I have full control, sort of physical control over all the machines before all the guys go on remote work again. That is good to catch up finally and uh, give you guys some updates. We're hiring. I will leave all the details about the position in my video description, all the job requirements, all that stuff, as well as email where you need to apply. So I'm encouraging you, try yourself out, show me what you have, and maybe we will work together. Despite we're going into lockdown, we're lucky to be in the industry that never sleeps, quite literally. We don't stop working, we're working all the time, even remotely. But eventually things will get normal and you will want to be in our studio, which is in Winchester, United Kingdom. So you have to be local or in Southampton or some of our guys actually live in London. So these areas are preferable, but it's up to you if, you, if you're fine commuting, totally up to you. Just keep in mind, eventually we will want you in the studio. That's all I have for you in regards to work. In regards to personal life, you guys know I recently shared great news. We have another family member. And you know, I realized one funny thing. With one child, I actually had some spare time. Nonetheless, we're super happy. Little Kira is doing great. Mila is happy. My wife is happy. I'm happy. Other updates are, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram or not, but I recently made a post about my new workstation. But not only that, I launched a website, www.libroff.com is finally up, full feature website with blog, with contact form, with my portfolio, which is uh, embarrassingly outdated. But that's not the point, the blog. The articles, I've published an article about my new workstation, which I'm building for RTX 3090. Several of them, in fact, but for now, it's just one of them. The article, however, is about the base. I comprehensively described all the parts that I used in the build. I linked where you can buy them, apart from some parts, like motherboard is quite hard to come by but I think it might be helpful for you, the cooling, all that kind of stuff. And I al already received RTX 3090 Founders Edition. I will be doing a separate dedicated video about that card because Founders Edition this year is very special. So this is the place where you would work if we wouldn't go into lockdown. Normally, we have quite a lot of people. We have backgrounds there. We have working areas here. At the moment, you can see they are quite separated from each other. That's because we're following government's guidelines. No one's sitting close to each other. Everyone's separated. Good workstations, good people to work with. This station will become new team member station. I'm here to do some technical maintenance and I just noticed that someone nipped my keyboard. Actually, you know what? I don't need a keyboard because I'm not here to sit at the computer. I'm here. I'm here to fix smart sockets and that's what I'm going to do. Smart sockets are under the desk. Okay, it's good that I'm here after cleaner came last week. Okay, nothing here. There they are. There's Jakey's Boba Fett head, his birthday present. 
oh yeah, these. If you haven't seen my video about remote workflow where I gave that tip, these are smart sockets. If your machine froze, then you can remotely, physically restart it. You know what? I'll do it and then I'll come back to you. Phew. That would be it. I'll probably see this place in a couple of months or next year, which will be in a couple of months. Bye bye studio. There is nothing we can do. So be positive guys. Actually, what I can tell you is I might have another challenge for you. Also, check this out. My mount for car shooting. Now I don't have to hold the camera like that when I'm driving, which can be potentially dangerous. And with A7S, Free, I can actually see what I'm recording even in this position, which is pretty cool. I'm expecting a few packages to arrive today and these packages are important for my upcoming videos. The test in the car with that mount on a window didn't actually work out pretty good because I was on active stabilization on this Sony. Everything was blah, 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 blah. well you've seen it yourself. I think what I should have done is set it to no stabilization and then stabilize this footage with Catalyst Browse. But that's something for next time. Yeah. Do you have your name, please? Andre. So this is DJI RS2 combo. I sold all my previous gimbals. I used to have original Ronin S, Ronin SC, the smaller one, and then I sold all of them. I was shooting handheld mainly, and I decided that I will just buy a gimbal when DJI releases the new one, and they did, and I ordered one straight away. The interest in this one for me is the Raven Eye system with tracking and their LiDAR system for focusing. Unfortunately, I don't have any more cine lenses left, so I won't be able to test this out, but at least now I have a gimbal again if I need it. This is quite light. We will test this out a bit later today. So we have nine drives and I need to populate these servers. I've been using Synology for six years. I don't think they even have a competition there so good. I will be doing a dedicated video about it. For now, I just need to shoot a b-roll of the unit and how I'm populating it with drives. I have the second one in there, but the second one is not an XS Plus and it has several expansions, including 10G expansion card, which will give me 10G storage, SSDs, that's supposed to help to speed up certain operations. This is all I need to research. You know what, I'll probably use Ronin for this. And I'm so tired of wearing these glasses. No, we won't, because it came totally discharged, which is weird, usually batteries come halfway charged. Luckily, I have some time because I'm caching some Houdini stuff. Even though it looks like Sphere, it's not. It's a really fancy, fancy rig in there. Come on, battery. I want to launch this. I wouldn't say I enjoyed shooting B-roll with the gimbal. I think I'll stick with the slider. At the moment I'm using Raven Eye that's supposed to track me. I don't know, it's so wonky. Come on, you're supposed to track me. I don't think it's too good for closed 
rooms like mine. Why is it tracking this thing? Come on. Don't, don't think I like this at all. A couple of days ago, my wife sent me some videos from the park where it was fabulously beautiful with golden hour, all that stuff. And today I went out to test out the Ronin RS2 with this, with British classics, as I call it. So I'm here on a playground, just walking around with my phone set to track myself. Well, not the phone is tracking me, the camera is or more precisely, Ronin is through the camera. And this time it works pretty well, unlike my experience indoors. How about a smaller object? This one. Seems to be doing a good job when it have enough contrast. There's Mila. Having fun. My plan for this, the reason I even got this is because Tilta released quite a few accessories for this particular model. I'm interested in the stick. So it will turn this gimbal into kind of steady cam gimbal. And this, this is the concept I'm hunting for years now. Like three years ago, I was putting a gimbal on a monopod and rocking like that. That was convenient because I could do a crane shots. I could do many different shots. And if it would actually have a counterbalance and I wouldn't have to use the stick of the gimbal, that would be amazing. 